Hello and welcome back to WePC. This is the third part in our best class setup series for Warzone. In this specific video, we're going to teach you the best sniper class for Warzone and for blood money. Now I do say to run a sniper rifle on almost all classes that you do and use the overkill perk. However, some people may like to use ghost and therefore we will accommodate this video towards that. So let's jump straight in and create this class. So jumping straight in, the sniper rifle that we are going to choose is the HDR. As previously mentioned in a few videos, the HDR is trial and tested to be better than the AX50 in almost every way. So that is the sniper that we're going to use. For the muzzle, we're going to use the monolith suppressor. This gives us a massively increased damage range as well as sound suppression. For the barrel, we'll be using the 26.9 HD Pro, which gives us increased damage range once again, increased bullet velocity and recoil control, which is extremely useful on a sniper. For optic, we are going to go for thermal scope. If you've not yet had the chance to use a thermal scope on a sniper, then I would highly recommend you start to try it. It gives you such an incredible advantage over people who aren't using a thermal scope. The only way for you to not show up on a thermal scope is to use cold blooded. And I'd say about 30 to 40% of people use cold blooded, but that still leaves us with 60 to 70% of people who aren't. You can seriously differentiate enemies from environment so much easier when using a thermal scope. If you don't know how a thermal scope works, and essentially it highlights the enemy as a big white glow, and the background is a more grayish dark black color which means that you can see an enemy from absolutely hundreds of meters. And I really do recommend that you use this scope. For stock, we're gonna use the FTAC Champion for the aiming stability and aim walk steadiness. And finally, we will be using the nine round mags for the obvious reason of having extra bullets in your magazine. Finish that up with your favorite camo and this class is ready to go. As previously mentioned, I would always suggest using overkill with a sniper to have a submachine gun or an assault rifle, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and say that you'll want to use ghost on your class and therefore are looking for a viable secondary option. Therefore, I would highly recommend using the 50GS, which is more commonly known as the Desert Eagle in other popular FPS games. This is a very high caliber hand pistol and can provide a two shot kill if you hit them in the upper body. For the muzzle, we are going to use the compensator to get some recoil control. This gun does have a lot of recoil and therefore will need as much recoil control as you can possibly stick on this bad boy. We're going to put a barrel on it and we're going to go for the forge attack extended for the increased damage range and bullet velocity. I'm also going to put a laser on it and I'm going to put the 5MW laser for the hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed. If you're running with this pistol you want to be able to hip fire and or aim down the sights as fast as possible so that you can get that confirmed kill. We're going to leave the optic off so that we can use an ammunition and rear grip. For the grip, I'm going to use the rubberized grip tape just once again for that recoil control. And then I finish it off with a 13 round mag just so we have those extra bullets in the chamber. Finish it off with your favorite camo and we're ready to go. There is another option of using the Akimbo 50GS, but personally I'm not going to use that in this video. Moving on to the perks, we are going to use cold blooded so that we do avoid the thermal scopes when we are in a one on one fight with a sniper rifle. It will give us the advantage the enemy isn't using thermal and that's always an added benefit. We're going to use ghosts so that we are undetectable on any UAVs making us practically invisible on the map. And for our perk free, we are going to use tracker which paints enemy footsteps on the floor so you can trace enemies from across the map or even if they're close to you and you'll always know where they are. For lethal, we're going to go with C4 as they are incredibly useful for destroying vehicles and for throwing around corners to knock off enemy shields. Whilst we are not using overkill, we will need as much power as we can before fighting an enemy. Therefore, throwing a C4 around the corner, knocking their shields and then shooting them once with a Desert Eagle will be in a very effective way of killing people. And for our tactical, we're going to use the Heartbeat Sensor. This is because we want to be aware of our surroundings when we are sniping. If we are on top of a building, we want to know if there is an enemy approaching us from all around. And that is the class guys. As usual, we will show you some footage at the end of this video. If you did find this useful, then don't forget to leave us a like, subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell and comment down below if you give this class a try. With that out of the way guys, we'll see you in the next video.